Good morning. It is Monday morning. It is 5.30. I woke up, changed, and I'm getting ready to go to work. I am back on adult urology, like general adult urology, um, after my stint on peds. And I have four months on this rotation. This is my last four months of being a PGY3 before I move up to PGY4, so that's crazy. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show you guys a week in my life on this rotation. I have this week and then I have the weekend on uh, and I'm working 12 straight days, so it's kind of like a marathon. Um, so yeah, I, I'm doing some cases today, so I need to make myself some breakfast and kind of prepare for the day. Hello, it is 8 p.m. I got home about 30 minutes ago. A long day, um, just didn't do like a ton of cases, did three cases, but just like had long turnovers and then another case went long, so ended up getting home pretty late. I feel very tired. Um... I think I had not a restful weekend. I went on a very long run and like had to drive out to go to a party that was like three hours away. So I drove like three hours there and three hours back. Um, so I just feel very exhausted and I also feel overwhelmed because I have a lot of research that I need to get done in the next like week. Um, so I'm feeling a little bit anxious and overwhelmed. Um, I am on call tonight, which obviously doesn't help things. Um, so just trying to kind of sort out some, some things. But on the good news side of things, got our house clean today. So that's always like really nice to come home to. Um, and it looks good. <laughs> that's the good news. And got some groceries delivered. So that was also good. So yeah, I am just eating some apples, doing my pre-op H&Ps for tomorrow, um, and then gonna try and knock out a little bit of research. I talked to my dad, who was very helpful, and he was basically just like, even if you feel like you can't do a ton, like just do a little bit, and it's just a little bit more than what you wouldn't have done otherwise. So I think that was helpful um, advice. I just am like feeling very jealous of people who have like nine to five jobs right now. Um, I think it's also the weather getting getting warmer and I just want to like spend more time outside. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the truth and that's how it feels to be a resident sometimes, but we'll get through it. Um, just wanted to update you guys. This is my very bland dinner. I have two eggs and some rice pilaf and I had an apple. So it's all beige. Update, Mark wants me to say, and greens. Good morning, it is 5.45, it is Tuesday. My call, my call night last night was not bad at all. I got some calls like leading up to going to bed, but overnight, nothing. So that was really nice. My anxiety has calmed down a little bit. Um, Still not the most calm, but a little bit more calm now that I like got to sleep through the night and everything. Um, it's always nice when you have a chill night on call. So that was great. I'm just making some oatmeal for breakfast. I have lots of cases today. Um, so excited to kind of get to jump back in. Um, and I'm gonna try and do some research between these cases or like try and if like something hap if I have time after, like try to do some research because that's kind of the other main stressor. Um, yeah. Hello, it is 9 p.m. I just got home like 20 minutes ago. Um, we had a very long day and then we also have our conference on Tuesdays, which is two hours from five to seven. Um, so obviously like it's hard to make it home before five to take it at home and then we always have work to do afterwards so Tuesdays are always pretty late days but I'm not on call tonight um I am eating a salad I just had some pasta with tofu um eating a salad to get some vegetables and then I'm doing some sitting on the floor I'm doing some training for research um my goal is to just try and get a little bit done every day and then I do have to 
turn in this thing by Friday, but just to help with like getting things done and helping my anxiety, um, my goal is to get a little bit done every day uh, to help move forward and to check things off the list. So I'm gonna try and finish this today just to get it off my list and send an email so I can um, move on with doing that research and then start on my other research, which hopefully I'll get a chunk done tomorrow. Um, but that's the plan. Today was good. We had some really interesting cases, which was great. Um, and I got to spend time with one of my favorite attendings. So it was overall a really good day. Got to sit outside for a little bit when we did our conference meeting thing, which was also nice. So yeah, just going to try and do this and then potentially do like a quick 20 minute bike just to like get some leg movement in before bed. Well, it is 10 p.m. and I just finished my research training, so I decided not to work out. Um, I'm gonna try and wake up early and work out tomorrow morning though. Um, but yeah, it's like, like I said, it's 10 p.m. So probably just gonna scroll on my phone for a little bit and then go to bed. Good morning. It is 5.45 in the morning. I in fact did not work out this morning. My alarm went off and I was like, I just need to sleep, um, which I think is very valid and something that I definitely need more of right now. So I don't feel bad about it. I am just putting together my lunch for today, which I'll probably eat for breakfast. I have like tofu and pasta and some pad thai sauce, and then I'm gonna cut up an apple, but I like don't have any breakfast food. So I've just been eating my lunch for breakfast and then getting like random snacks around the hospital for lunch. Um, I didn't do, I did, I finished, as you saw last night, I finished like, part of what I needed to do for one research thing and I turned, I emailed it, but I really need to finish this other research thing by Friday. So I'm feeling a little stressed. Hopefully I think one of my, my chief is gonna do one of my cases today just cause he wants to learn the case. Um, so I am going to try and get a fair amount done then. We'll see. It is about seven o'clock and I got home uh, about 30 minutes ago and I'm obviously taking a little walk outside. We're going to a bar, um, some of the residents to hang out for a little bit. So I'm going on a little walk to the bar. It's so nice. All right, it is 8 p.m. I got home from the happy hour. I got pizza and a salad and an oyster. Um, it was great and just hung out with some of my co-residents. So that was really fun. Um, I'm gonna try and work out for a little bit. I haven't worked out in a couple of days and it always makes me feel better. It's also hair wash day. So I'm gonna try and get a little workout in and then I can wash my hair and like feel really clean, which is like the best night of the week. We did it. It was very hot because it's very hot here. But I'm not quite ready to turn on my AC. So I'm just sweating with the window open and I only did 20 minutes, but you know what? I feel proud anyway. Here are the receipts, as always, and there I am. So you should follow me. All right, so I took a shower and then I put my like conditioning mask in my hair. Uh, my hair has been so dry because I think it's because of the winter. Um, I've only been washing it once a week and then I've been using, I've been shampooing and then I use this Brio Geo deep conditioning mask. I used to use the Olaplex, but I honestly like, it worked really well in the beginning and then I feel like it didn't work so well for me anymore. So I'm trying out this Brio Geo mask. So far it's been pretty good. Um, I think it's also just the winter now that it's getting warmer. I think it's gonna be a lot better. But yeah, just leave this in for like 10 minutes and then wash it out and then I put another layer of conditioner on. The once a week hair wash, you gotta go all out. Um. So we took the dog on the walk. It's, it's, uh, it's currently Thursday afternoon slash evening. Um, today was good, had some cases. Come on, Atlas, come on. And we took the dog for a walk and got absolutely poured on. And now he's refusing to walk. So we're doing well. Come on. Oh, oh my God. All right, I am home at my parents' house now. 
and I am working on this research project and I'm going to stay at this house until I finish this project and I'm going to send it to my attending and then I have to submit it tomorrow. So I have to finish it tonight in the next hour and a half. That is my goal. Let's do it. It's a video abstract. I've done most of it. I just need to record the voiceover. Hello, it is 9.40 p.m. I have finished and I'm going home. Good morning. It is Friday. It is 5.45. Um, I got home really late last night, as you saw, and just like went to bed even later because I was just like up trying to like decompress from doing work. I feel like I can't just like do work and go straight to bed. I need to like watch TikTok or like watch TV and drink my tea and relax. So I went to bed a little later, but that's okay. Today's the start of my call weekend. Um, so we're on call every weekend that we're on call these days or like for the whole program for the all five years we're on call Friday night to Monday morning. So it's a little, it's a long stretch, but it's nice because as a three, you have an intern at the hospital I'm at as a three, you have an intern both days. So if one night was really bad or something, I can leave the intern and take a nap or something. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, so I'm just cutting up my apple. I already packed the rest of my lunch, which is again, tofu pasta. Um, I'm gonna head into work. Hello, it is 7.45, Friday night. I had a pretty good day. A couple of my cases canceled, so I had a chiller afternoon, but turned in my research project, thank God, mm. and did uh, a survey that I had to do and just did some like administrative work and then like scrolled on my phone, which was nice. Um, so I'm on call this weekend. We have a couple inpatients, so I'm going into round tomorrow, um, but just eating. I had Chick-fil-A for lunch, so I brought my tofu and pasta um, home and ate that for dinner with this salad, trying to offset the Chick-fil-A. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I managed to get a little Peloton ride in, which was huge. Um, I did the country Leanne ride, which really just made me like so happy. And it's just like a great way to start a weekend of call. So. Very happy that I got to do that. As always, here are the receipts. Good morning. It is 7.20. I slept through the night. It was incredible. Um, I am now awake and getting ready to go into work. So I'm just gonna make a little smoothie. I am wearing clothes under this. I'm just chilly, so I'm wearing my robe on top until I can find my sweater. Um, but I'm gonna make a little smoothie for breakfast and then head on in, round, get the, get the weekend started. All right, I put in a mix of like a bunch of frozen fruit from Trader Joe's. We don't have any spinach or anything. So it's just frozen fruit, milk, protein powder. This is a protein powder. Uh, it expired in 2021. Not sure if that's really bad, but why would you buy such a large thing of protein powder um, and milk? That's it. Hello, it is Sunday. It is 11.30. Um, I last saw you Saturday morning. I went into work, was at work until about three, and then met up with my fiance and his friend in Georgetown, and then went and had dinner with my fiance's family who lives here, like his uncle and stuff. So that was really fun. Um, had to deal with some patient stuff while I was at dinner, which was like unfortunate, but it all worked out okay. And then like stopped by the hospital on my way back just to make sure everything was okay. Last night was very chill. And then today just rounded this morning and now I'm at my parents' house. It's Easter. Um, so we're gonna have a little Easter celebration. I'm just heating up some quiche. Sit. Sit. Good job. This Easter is a 2023 Easter egg. 
hunt is going to continue unabated. Uh, so here we go. Well, Devin beat me, but it now is time for the annual tradition of candy sorting, where we take all the candy out of our eggs, oops, and sort. Hello, it is Monday night. Um, Sunday night was fine. I did have like actually a couple things to deal with overnight slash early this morning. Um, but luckily my, the other residents helped me out cause I was in a really long case today. Um, and now I'm off call. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit more, like I seemed more stressed than usual, but I just, that was like the week. And I just wanted to give you insights into some of the more stressful weeks. And it wasn't cause like work was stressful. It's cause I had extracurriculars that I like had a deadline for. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. I will make more vlogs soon, but also let me know if you have anything else you want to see. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye.